The question I probably get the most is, what what was wrong with you? I think that's what Jerry liked about it, was that there really wasn't anything specific except for the fact that his parents liked her. I can't believe this is our first date. My memory of Ellen, or as I called her, the girlfriend that sort of was the perfect girl, but Jerry couldn't really. She was the perfect girl, but she was having a first date with him on her birthday, which he thought was weird. I suppose I have to get a piece of cake. Why? Today's my birthday. <laughs> what, today? Because why would on your birthday you be going on a blind date and not just be with your friends? So. He couldn't quite figure out what was wrong with me because I sort of on paper seemed like the perfect girl. Um, and he never really got to the bottom of it, but he decided to take me out with his parents in one of the final scenes. Jerry, she is fantastic. I knew it. I'm not crazy. And as soon as his parents gave him the thumbs of approval for me, that was when he broke up with me. It's like if, if it passes the parent test, then then he can't stay with her. Get your messages? Yeah, no one called. There's a payphone scene, right? And I go to check my messages too. And and he said, did anybody call? And I said, no, nobody called. And yeah, the friends say it's so good that you're doing this for her. It is so sweet of you to take her out. Yeah. You don't even know how much she needs this. So maybe there was a breakup. I don't know, I'm gonna try to be positive about it and think that she was a good egg, but maybe he caught her at a bad time. <laughs> And after college, I got my master's at the Sorbonne. Well, the question I probably get the most is, what was wrong with you? Like, what, whatever happened? I remember that episode, but what, what was the deal? Um, and it was sort of, I think that's what Jerry liked about it, was that there really wasn't anything specific except for the fact that his parents, his parents liked her. And so much personality, but it doesn't matter what we think. Do you like her? No, I'm not so sure. My favorite memory was going in to the audition because it was such a big deal. I mean, the show was so huge. So even getting the audition and knowing you were gonna go in and read with Jerry and the writers was so nerve wracking. And you know, as an actress, you just kind of get a parking pass that's like a mile away. And then you walk, that sort of scary walk of going over your lines and I remember like going into the audition, they were so nice. I did really well. And as I walked out and was leaving, I had to go down a staircase <laughs> to leave. And I missed the first step. And thank God I didn't tumble down the entire staircase. But what I did do was break the heel on one of my shoes. So I had to walk a mile back to my car with only one heel on my shoe. So it was like this embarrassing, horrible limp. Working with the entire cast, and most of my stuff was with Jerry and then the actors who played his parents, was so much fun. And I don't even know what year the episode I did was, how many seasons in, but they treated all of the guest actors as if we were a part of their family. And what's so great about that show is it was so popular, it brought in so many incredible actors. George, the qualifications for this scholarship were supposed to be largely academic. And I remember in that episode, Bruce Davison was in that episode that I did. He had just been nominated for an, an Oscar for Longtime Companion and David Moscow, who I grew up watching in Big and Newsies was in it. I see your GPA is a 4.0. You like that, don't you? It's, it's like, this bonding experience with these incredible series regulars, like the Seinfeld cast. Is that the same outfit you were wearing yesterday? No, this is brand new. Do you like it? And I think honestly, like the scenes that I had with Jerry, where he just was really the most normal for being Jerry Seinfeld. You know, I had done a little work here and there at that point, but it was like, I was just his equal. And he was so curious just about my life and you know i grew up catholic and so of course he was fascinated with details about that <laughs> and going to catholic school and wearing uniforms and just like you know coming from allentown pennsylvania where i came from but it, we just had these fun conversations and he was so easy to talk to and just a good guy i think they were all just such you know cool a, a really welcoming group of actors so that was my favorite
just getting to hang a little bit. Kramer, George, this is Ellen. I mean, I think it's one of the most beloved shows because you can turn on an episode now and the observational humor, which is the comedy Jerry still does today and why people love him so much today, is, is just how relatable it is even today. Just those little moments that he would be able to make an entire episode out of, I think, is why people love it so much.